You're watching WSBT 22 News, first at four. Tornadoes tear through central Indiana, leaving incredible damage in their wake. The National Weather Service has confirmed 11 tornadoes hit the state yesterday, and that includes a powerful EF3, which hit Kokomo. Amazingly, no one was killed or severely injured in this, but these storms have definitely left their mark on portions of the state. We begin first at four here with team coverage on these storms. I want to start with WSBT 22 meteorologist Ed Russo. He's live in Kokomo. And Ed, you are seeing just some incredible damage out that way. Yeah, Jen, it's, it's, it's absolutely just crazy what's, what's happened here. I mean, look at the roof to this home. This is one of the hardest hit areas on the south side of Kokomo. This is F3 damage because we have some walls of this house, exterior walls that have completely collapsed. And notice this uh, record player right here hasn't moved but we have the ceiling fan which is completely collapsed to the floor there's other stuff in here where you literally don't know where it came from and i want to show you something that's that's very interesting this is an interior hallway so we're we're walking through an interior hallway here's an interior bathroom okay now we're headed to a room that's on the exterior of the house this is where you do not want to be in a tornado on a home with the first floor because you're you leave yourself exposed this right here, again, we're walking back through the interior hallway. This is why it's safe to be in an interior room, interior hallway in a tornado, because you will have uh, the most walls still standing around you. You'll be protected. And this is what we always tell people whenever there's a tornado moving through, interior room, lowest floor. That theory was put to test in this very house. And the owners, which thankfully weren't even here, uh, would have survived most likely if they were in an interior room or bathroom. Just, just uh, unbelievable devastation here. This house is is a copy of, of many other houses that look just like this across the neighborhood. And coming up on WSBT 22 News at 5 and 6, we're going to hear from some of those survivors that went through this, that went through some of the terrible destruction that we saw yesterday. Live in Kokomo, I'm WSBT 22 First Alert meteorologist Ed Russo. And again,